Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got another TF2 live commentary here for you. Playing as a soldier here on PL Upward. As you can see, using the stuck rocket launcher, buff banner and the escape plan. Using the buff banner at the beginning of this match. I'm not sure if it's going to change as this is a live commentary. We'll see how it turns out. You never really know. It depends on how long I can stay alive and how many people I can buff before uselessness kicks in. Now, before we definitely start to go in and try taking some names one of the things that I do want to point out is that my Bioshock playthrough has been finished the ending is up on my channel which is definitely a ending you should check out if you so desire uh, the cutscene at the end of the credits has not been included uh, I forgot I do apologize but there you go I might check that out later and put it on my channel but that ending has been up that playthrough has finished and one of the things that I do want to uh, continue with the Torchlight 2, which is going to happen soon, and also I want to expand my channel and possibly smite relatively soon. See how that checks out. I've already done it on my stream and such, so uh, we'll see where that brings us. As I do want to expand, so you may see smite, you may see some Torchlight 2, and of course a lot more TF2 as well. We'll keep the twos going on my channel, just for the sake of uh, twos. And apparently the entire red team has a severe lack of feet, or is that just me? Because I feel like most of the red team has no feet. As I try to get behind the bomb for cover. Which is relatively hard to do as the heavy was shooting from a really annoying angle. I'm hoping that I can actually get some heals now from the medic. Yes, I do get the lovely heals here. As I will probably start to use my buff banner anytime soon. We have a demo, we have a pyro hit as well. Including myself. And as we are going to go towards the choke point. I do expect some craziness to ensue. Any second now. We also have that spy coming from behind, of course. As I also find myself the sentry. As I do try to take so much damage to it. But I didn't know it was right there. And I was behind the bomb. And every time I tried to do something. I kind of got in a bit of a pickle. Now, as you may have noticed as well. I'm using on the, I'm playing on the Critscast server. Uh, there are some, uh, some familiar faces. Actually, some subscribers. As well as Agro saying hi. So there you go, Agro. If you are watching my video, Agro. Hi, Agro. How are you doing, Agro? Everything fine, Agro. Is everything Agro in Agro land? Not sure where I was going with this. Just killing time as my entire team is being distracted here by a scout. Charlie bit you as I blew him up with my team there. So I guess his biting days are over. Taking out the quick level 1 sentry. Always a neat thing to do. And the lucky crit rocket. The lucky crocket here on Schrodinger. Taking out... That pyro with the back burner. As the, uh, the demo knight had a bit of an issue with his uh, momentum as he walked right off. I'm not sure if he actually landed on the floor. I did hope. I didn't watch the kill feed. Oh, there he is. And he did not die as he charges into the air. But unfortunately for him, his days are over. And the scout's days are well done as well. So we have a spy here as a medic. I'm going to see if I can get some splash damage going. Apparently it was MKC Chris. One of the few people that is uh, within my subscriber base. Now, I'm waiting for my team to move up so I can use my buff banner as I haven't gotten for a little while. So, there we go. We might have an opportunity here with two pyros. Can I still hold it? Yes, I can still hold it. One of the little tricks that a lot of people don't know or use or use to their advantage is that you can hold the buff banner until you really want to use it. But you can't de-use it. So, once you have sound the trumpet, you want to use it. You have to use it because you can't unuse it. But you can extend... Uh, the point when it's going to be used by holding down the button. And I do try to get some splash rockets on. Looks like I did hit something with a significant amount of damage. But that buff banner was kind of useless. Still using a little bit of splash. It's a rocket jump. I'm not really scared of that. That pyro is trying to get some reflects going. But pipes and rockets at the same time. Seems a little bit too much of the good stuff for him to handle. And I do keep spamming him. Trying to keep him at bay. That looks, looks like a heavy with a bit of an issue soon. As I do land some crit rockets, but the fall off damage is just not enough to make it happen. However, the headshot, however, from Helene does do it for us. Gotta love it. And I certainly did. So I'm looking for an opening here. I'm not sure if there's a sentry. Well, there's my answer. There is definitely a sentry. As I try to keep people at bay and hopefully buy my team some time as I take some damage myself. He went through the window, rocket jumped through the window. I wasn't aware of that. And he was the element of surprise to his advantage as he did manage to kill me. So that's certainly a great advantage. Apparently we have a bit of a uh, AFK pyro here. But uh, it happens. After all, it is still a pug. It may be a, Chris cat, a crits cast pug, but a pug is a pug. As I do have my buff banner ready. And I, there's two heavies here. 
I expect greatness in my future. Here we go. Hopefully get some crits on those heavies. Looks like I can actually get something going. Do try to get some hits on that. Um, on the sentry gun. Do take it out. Also do take some damage on people that were running past the sentry. Because apparently crit rocket on the building doesn't take it out. Because crits don't work on buildings. Game, why would you give me crockets when I'm trying to attack buildings? It's just not fair. Like all, all rockets I... Like even if I hit all my rockets, the crockets I miss. It's just like that. It's bloody annoying, isn't it? Well, mathematically, it's only likely because you have to do damage to get the crits. And then, of course, the chances of you uh, keeping your hits going become slower and uh, at least lower and lower. But that's just the weirdness that this crit system has in TF2. And I hate it! And I showed my anger by air shooting this lovely demo right in his lower part of his body. But I am a little bit low on health as well. Not sure what he wants to do. I'll take the direct hits for free. As Sav is healing me. Such a beautiful medic, Sav. As I will try to make some plays here going up. See if I can perhaps catch off something that I shouldn't be able to catch off. Like, for example, Helena, the crit cast heavy. So there's definitely still something up. I'm just going to use my buff banner. Not entirely sure what I should expect soon. Maybe get some lucky rockets out there. Like I said, I missed the rockets that are important. Do get some, uh, I do get some kills from the Flock clan or group here with my buff banner. Splash damage is quite nice. Unfortunately, Uber doesn't allow you to push the bomb. So as they push forward and the medic apparently is supposed to be somewhere here as well. I will just keep pushing the bomb as nobody else seems to be willing to do it right now. And let them push up. I don't really mind all that much if they push up. Let them do it. I'm okay with this. I'm just going to casually stand back. And push a giant nuclear bomb on my own. On a wooden bridge. On my way to a danger zone. Because you know that's what you do on a casual beginning of the week. Ish. Starting part of the week. Ish. Depending on when you watch this video of course. Now there's rockets coming but I have a bomb. I'm protecting myself with the bomb. Clearly my logic is flawless here. As I will also look for an opening soon after I push the bomb over the edge. The Uber has been popped a little bit early if you ask me. I'm not sure what the hell was on Sav, but there you go. As I do get a lucky kill there. Double kill even. Oh that's the assist. I'm totally fine with assisting. Because that's what teamwork is for. As I also get the juggling on the pyro. Hopefully I can finish off that soldier. It wasn't sure to be the case. As I walk right into Helena. From the Critcast. Gamers Union? Gamers United I believe it is. And she gets also the revenge on my body. Well my body isn't ready for that. It wasn't ready for that as I did lose my uh, domination on Helena. But let's see if we can turn it back around. Or just grab a few other dominations. As I'm apparently winning... The high scoring board. So I guess I'm doing something right. I don't feel like I'm doing something right. But there you go. As I do take two rockets to my face. From once again. The original soldier. That catches me by surprise. Or catches me by surprise. And fortunately enough. For so I got so tunnel vision on that person below. Even though I couldn't really hit him. That he just uh, ended up tearing me down. Can I get the splash though? Nope. Helena is... Tearing me asunder. Her minigun is on fire as her bullets tear my flesh from my bones. Little bit unfortunate to, you know, lose the flesh of my bones as one could assume. But there you go. Now hopefully you enjoyed that death because I don't like dying. I like killing. So let's see if we can go around and uh, make something happen. I do have savvy. Uh, giving me a nice overheal as I apparently get a surprise Chris in my face. As I do find the soldier that has been surprising me. And did I get the kill on him? No, he just jumped down and probably got the large health back. There he is. No, wait, that's another soldier. There are so many soldiers suddenly. My life. It's its full of questions. As I do try to see what it, what is up here. There is a sentry over there. So I'm just going to spam some rockets at it. Maybe get a kill on it. There you go. Sentry gun is down. A sentry gun is always better than no sentry gun. Or I mean, no sentry gun is always better than a sentry gun. Assuming we are talking about the enemy team, of course. Do try to get the soldier at the engineer first. For obvious reasons, I however do not have a uh, shotgun to follow up on that, which was a bit of a problematic situation. But I got the engineer, which is the most important part, because then he can't keep repairing it. Now, I did land a lot of damage, though, as the pyro here ends up igniting the entire world and then some. 
As once again, there is a soldier here on the back, but luckily enough, we have an entire team here. The buff banner is ready. I think this is the time that we can get some assists and hopefully some fun times as the heavy here dies to my rockets now as her flash tear gets turned asunder from her bones. I'm not sure how she feels that, but she definitely felt that all right. As I will also try and get the wrangler there as the sentry has been rebuilt. So there you go. I'm gonna see if I can tear it down from above as that bloody soldier. Is that the soldier or a soldier? It's a soldier, not the soldier. As he takes me down with the high ground advantage. I was trying to use the splash damage right around the corner. But he got a few uh, more shots into me before I could finish him off. So that was uh, not as good of a play that I wanted to. He outplayed me right there and rightfully so. As I rocket jump almost into my death. But there you go. Teamwork. Takes down the heavy as I walk into the bloody soldier, the soldier this time. As I do try to land some splash damage around the corner. He's tr trying to do the same, but luckily enough, I have a very tasty medic with me. As I will try to prove worthy of their names that are medic. As I do try to land a rocket on that soldier. As I will now try to hit some uh, so rockets on the sentry, maybe it's not being healed, I'm not sure, I can't really tell, I'm a little bit scared because there's also a sniper over there, do try to, oh, I shoot my crit rocket against the wall, of course that happens, as I do try to keep moving from spot to spot, but there's another sentry in play, and it's not looking all too good, as I do keep landing rockets on something or someone, as we now have friends from behind, didn't see it in time, the medic gets taken down, and I did have a full buff banner, but I couldn't avoid to the right because the sentry would have decimated me and I did try to kill the pyro but unfortunately enough it didn't turn out too well because well I died and I would assume that that is a good sign of it not turning out too well that's a level one teleporter I hate those things level three or no teleporter in this world in PO upward especially in PO upwards as I do try to land some some splash damages on the pyros here to take them out the medic has been saved. Savvy, you're welcome. You have saving my butt a few times. I will keep saving your butt. Our butts will be saved. That is what teamwork is all about. Saving butts of your team members. As I do try to land a few rockets as he gets covered in piss. Not sure where he was coming from. Uh, the piss that is. Maybe a piss gun. I'm not sure what it was. As I do try to get that engineer. Trying to be a little bit... Sneaky about my splash damage. Unfortunately, they seem to be rebuilding the sentries as well. As I do try to take the sentry gun down as well. I'm surprised here by the back burner pyro. Which is something I don't want to be surprised by. The medic has the same issue that I have right now. That sentry gun. Luckily enough, we have a buff banner ready. So I'm not sure if I want to use it though. Nope, I didn't want to use it right now. But I have used it. And here we go. Get a quite easy kill. Maybe I can get that sniper. Uh, quits don't work actually on anything that is mechanical. So, I, the only things that I really can hit now are the sentries because that's my main goal. As the soldier tries to go here from behind, I have overheal. So, I'm going to see if I can tear him down. But apparently, the sentry, the soldier, and the heavy combined is a little bit too much for me to handle. And it looks like Sevi was able to get out. I don't see his name in the kill feed. So, it's all good and well. So, they have a lot of sentries. And I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm not going to lie. Do get a quick kill on Eisenhower with the pan. Uh, at least uh, he gets stabbed. He was the pan heavy, of course. Hey, soldier! D soldier! How about you not kill me, but Helena? Helena, the surprise heavy! She is being one mean man, lady. Lady man. It's something with both her powers combined. I don't know. Whatever it may be. But it's de definitely dangerous, and I should probably keep avoiding it. But she always surprises me. Helena always surprises me. And I'm not really too fond of that, as the revenge is starting to happen. And I only have three dominations left. So can I turn this game around? We have three spies, which is probably not the greatest thing. Which is also probably why we are losing. The thing is, they have a lot of power classes, so they can keep us at bay without too much of a problem. Which is kind of, well... The problem, ironically enough. And my team seems to respond to that with spies. Instead of just keeping one, or perhaps even two spies, get it heavy yourself. Uh, you know, pull out a demo man. We have the medics, we just need the uber and the stickies to take out all those bloody demos in one go. It's really not that difficult. 
if you just have a few team members doing it. I am playing as a soldier, trying to make it happen from the soldier side of uh, soldier side of things. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I'm a little bit too low health, and I know there's a heavy there. So, can I make it safe? Do try to land some damage here. I'm not sure if the pyro is still here. Well, there's a pyro, but not the pyro that I was referring to. Don't want to get hit or destroyed. Savvy has changed himself to a pyro as well. So we have no medics and we're losing the medics because they understand it's a bit of a lost cause, I suppose. As I walk into a sentry, this is not a good thing. My life will be run short here as I'm probably going to go for the buff banner and see if I can take out the engineer if he's still there. Now he does say hello to me, but then the soldier from the sideline takes me down as I was too focused here on that soldier. Even though, uh, on the engineer I mean, as though the engineer was already retreating. So the entire sentry defense is being just... Too hard to handle with not a 1 minute and 30 seconds on the clock. I do try to get some kills. Do try a little bit more defensive when it comes to that bloody heavy. As the crit rocket misses. Do blow away this pyro. Can I get a hit though? Can I get another one? No, he falls to his death. I'm totally fine with that. I have Seth back on the healing duty with me. But we need less spies. I'm not sure what my team is thinking. But I have to work with it. Because even if I were to switch the demo, I probably wouldn't do as much as I can. Because we just don't have the pushing power when it comes down to all these forsaken sentries. I do try to hit as much as I can, but I only have 4 shots as I am using the buff banner. So I'm very vulnerable when I use all my 4 shots on a sentry that is currently being healed all day, every day. But also, the soldier right here, he has spotted me. He's probably going to go for a kill. We'll see what he's planning to do. There he goes. Do land two hits on him. Is he going to go for the run? As I do try to land some damage on myself. Just for shits and giggles, apparently. That's a little bit stupid. I'm not going to lie. But we have that sentry down. But will it be enough? And I don't think it will be. As another 25 seconds are left. I'm going to use my buff banner. See if I can make the play of the sentry on that engineer. As I do get attacked from behind with the pan. And the pan is too strong, even with the element of surprise, it becomes a powerful tool that one should not be underestimating. With another 7 seconds on the clock, I do fear the worst. But maybe we can go in overtime, but the kill feed predicts something completely different. As I do hope to finish this off by a kill, which I do. I kill the person that killed me. I think that's a good metaphor to end this video off. Holy hell, I... Did not too, I didn't do too bad as I was expecting my team to do better. This is why I had to buff better. But as you can see, my team wasn't able to push through their power defenses by the heavy, the army of sentries. It was an all-around hectic fight. I did try to do, uh, I tried to rely on my team with the buff banner, of course. And it worked. Just the last point, it just didn't work all that well because crits don't work on, of course, the, the building. So I probably should have switched to... Just gunboats probably would have acted better for me. But the shotgun probably would have been better as well as I would have then been able to constantly shoot those rockets to my sentries or to the enemy sentries. And then still had a weapon against the pyros and the soldiers that would otherwise have taken my life for the greater good of their team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And of course, I will catch you guys next time. Take care.